old manager says, the man who isn't thrilled by the start of a new season has stopped living. But there couldn't be a better setting than Goodison Park and an all-ticket crowd of 65,000 people. There couldn't be a better game than Everton with their many fine young players and Manchester United, the reigning champions. Nine months from now, these two teams could be among the main contenders for the 1967-68 season. The packed Everton fans waving their banners and flags and the Everton team is the strongest team that manager Harry Catrick can put into the field. Hard candle number four, the expensive capture from Preston. And Alan Ball, number eight, Mr. Perpetual Motion himself, the England international. And a new face for us, number nine, Joe Royal, the man whom Everton fans hope will become a new Dixie Dean. How many times have we heard that? Manchester United are playing the same side that turned out in the Charity Shield match last week against Tottenham Hotspur. That means we're going to have another side of number 10, young Ryan Kidd, who's just 18 years of age. An exciting prospect. And George Best, with slightly longer hair, George Best wears number 7, an Irish international. And the huge crowd here at Goodison Park. The referee, Mr. D.W. Smith of Stonehouse in Gloucestershire. And Everton to kick off. Remember Everton, the team in the white stockings. And Young Royal. What a sensational opening to the season that could have been. And that's Joe Royal. A few more like that and he'll do for the Everton fans. Everton, very sharp. A little more pick off the mark than Manchester United at the moment. Morrissey. Tahani. Colin Harvey. One of the six Everton players, 21 or under. Could well be an England player of the future. player in the Everton attack. Law to Kidd. Harvey was the man that cleared that and West saying he was pushed in the mouth by someone or other. Charlton, fighting best. Oh, great bit of work by best. And the corner. That was best at his greatest. Now, watch for Manchester United unsighting the goalkeeper at this corner. They keep running across him. It's quite legal trying to unsight him when the ball comes across. Cox. Well, not, not a bad bit of footwork by Mr. Smith, the referee. 
very much as if Everton will have the break. In the lead, one goal to nil. Yes, there goes the whistle for half time. Everton leading by one goal to nil. The scorer after 13 minutes was Alan Ball. There he is. Manchester United then, a goal down, waiting for the referee Mr. Smith to check all his watches before they kick off for the second half. Kit number 10, Charlton 9, Law on the far side, number 8, and away we go for the second half. Young Harvey, Morrissey moving into the middle, up goes Ball, oh, a brilliant header by Ball. Sparkling move by Alan Ball. <laughs> Wilson to Harvey. And up goes Morrissey. Only well, saw the wall in the last second because Brennan was there on sighting him. Wilson. Morrissey ball. Oh, it's a oh, Royal deflected that one. That was really a splendid save by Stepney. He changed direction as the ball ricocheted off Royal. Kid to take the corner. Oh, a beautiful tackle by Young. Up now to Kendall. Royal on the right wing. Now ball with him. Morrissey on the left. How's that for a pass? Wilson overlapping. Great save by Stepney. Up comes Kendall. A great tackle by Styles. And ball! Oh, beautiful interception! That's the second time in about five minutes. Alan Ball has been a whisker away from a goal. I wouldn't think that. Manchester United will meet many better defences than the Everton defence. Oh, a great one by Bess. A little bit more accuracy in their passing they could have done, but what about that for a pass from Charlton to Best? which doesn't hold together to receive the wholehearted support of the Everton fans. Oh, what a lovely one for ball to Royal. And he's got Morrissey on his left. Oh, it could well be a goal. Morrissey's offside. Football by Joe Royer, 18 years of age. He really had a nerve to take them on like that. Now Harvey. This is great stuff. Everton really looking at top-notch team. Young. wet shot that Alex Young has played for a long time. Great little chip. Oh, 
ball to Morrissey. Right and away goes Harvey. It's a goal. Yes. Goal. Twenty-one minutes of the second half gone, and Alan Ball has made it two. Ball number eight, that is second goal. Ball has got both of them. Well, how are we going to see a hat trick on the first day of the season? So if we look at that goal again, we'll see once again that Alan Ball's work rate and intelligence paid off. What a glorious pass it was to Young, and then we really saw Young's ball control, footwork, and shooting power. Well, the Everton supporters going mad, and my goodness, their team deserves a tremendous reception. Ball to and Young. More take it up to Charlton. And a great save by West. Well, that's the first one. Bobby Charlton really got in on the target this afternoon. And he's now realised that they're beginning the defence of their championship with a defeat. Charlton. Oh, he scored. Four minutes left. Bill left foot to Bobby Charlton. He zipped one in. And the crowd absolutely silent. So, 3 1, Manchester United trail. Pace of that shot beat West. He had it well covered. This happens so often with Charlton shooting. He hits them so hard that goalkeepers get to them but just can't hold them. Young to Harvey. Ball calling for it way over on the left. Goes to Kendall on the right. And the whistle goes for the end of the match. A great performance by Everton to win three goals to one. Splendid opening to the season. 